Hello students, welcome to Exeometric Course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2017. So we are here with this problem number 10 and this problem is from the topic Rolf theorem from the uh, subject analysis. So let us have a look on this question, what it says. So it is given to us that we have a function fx like this, okay, which is a piecewise function. Now, it is given to us that it will satisfy the Rolle's theorem in this interval, then the ordered pair p comma q is. So we have a function which is which we know already know that it will satisfy Rolle's theorem. We have to just figure out the values and of p and q. So for that matter, what we should do, we should firstly remember uh, what Rolle's theorem actually suggests us. Okay, I will show you that note first. So this is the statement for the Rolle's theorem. Let us have a look on this, what it says. Suppose that a function fx is continuous on the close interval a comma b and differentiable on the open interval a comma b. Then if f a is equal to f b, then there exists at least one point c in the open interval a comma b for which f dash c is 0. So this is what your theorem is suggesting us. Now let us come back to your question. So your given function f actually satisfies Rolle's theorem. That means it is continuous, it is differentiable and it, uh, it, also, uh, it, it, it also has a property that f a is equal to f b. That means f of minus 1 is equal to f of 1. So these are your uh, things that you have and using these things you have to figure out the value of p comma q the ordered pair p comma q. now let us try to write your f your f that is given to you is like this 1 plus x over 1 minus x uh, p x plus q right this is what uh, your function is if x is greater than 0 now, we already know that f satisfies what? Uh, f satisfies Rolle's theorem. That means f is differentiable. Okay? Differentiable on what interval? On open interval minus 1 to 1. On this interval, it is differentiable. We know it from the Rolle's theorem, right? So, that means we can directly differentiate it like this. So, what you will get then? You will get, uh, you have to differentiate okay piece wise so first differentiate this one and after that this one so you will get 1 over here because 1 plus 1 sorry uh, uh, not not 1 only okay so you will get 1 uh, on the numerator not numerator on the upper part and on the lower part what you will get after differentiating uh, you will get p minus 2px uh, minus 1 this is what you will get if x is less than 0, if x is greater than or equal to 0. You are getting my point out. Just apply differentiation on this part. You can use product rule and after uh, applying the differentiation, you will get this thing. Okay. Now, what do you know that f satisfies Rolle's theorem, right? So, that means it is differentiable. Now, for the different for f to be differentiable, so this f dash that we are getting, okay. So I will uh, I will write this thing for you that f is differentiable. Okay, this means that left hand derivative is equal to right hand derivative you are getting a point so on which at which point we have to check we have to check at zero because this function is changing at zero you are getting my point or not this function is changing at zero so we have to check our lsd at zero and rsd at zero so this is the derivative right so before zero that means before zero means what this is representing our lhd at x is equal to zero and this is representing our rhd at x is equal to 0. You are getting a point or not? So, 
using that property what you can say that 1 is equal to p times of 2p into 0 minus 1 you getting my point or not what i was suggesting you that since f is a differentiable function okay that means lhd at 0 should be equal to rhd at 0 so this one is lhd at 0 why this is lhd is at 0 because you have already mentioned here that this is the left hand derivative at 0 and this is the right hand derivative at 0 so from here what you are getting that p is 2 okay so this is simple to obtain p it's very simple right now let we have what we need to do now we need to calculate our q now let us use the you uh, use the property of continuity for the given function f now since it is it satisfies Rolle's theorem so it is continuous and since it is continuous therefore what we can say that uh, what we can say that f okay i will write this thing for you that limit okay uh, x goes to 1 negative what why i am doing this i am trying to obtain the value of q and to obtain the value of q i am using the continuity of f so limit x goes to 1 at minus uh, not sorry 1 it should be 0 okay limit x goes to 0 minus of f x should be equal to f of 0 okay this is by the continuity of f now what is f of 0 f of 0 is 1 just place 0 inside your function what you will get uh, not 1 sorry it's q okay so you are getting this to be q and now let us try to evaluate left hand limit of fx at 0 now left hand limit of fx at 0 will be limit h goes to 0 f of 0 minus h so this will be uh, this will be 1 minus h limit h goes to 0 using the function okay function thing so first what you are getting then you are getting 1 over here so finally what you have proved that your q is 1 and p is 2 so your ordered pair is 2 comma 1 right so so that means your a option is incorrect right uh, okay so your a option is incorrect b is also incorrect c is also incorrect so d must be true you're getting my point so this is how we should proceed we are just using two properties from the Rolle's theorem and what are those that f should be differentiable and f should be continuous okay from by continuity we have uh, we evaluated the value of q and by the differentiability property we evaluated our p so this is a two minute question you can do this in exam okay so thank you